Hello mic test 1 2 Hello mic test Hello mic test 1 2 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 Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna show you how you can use this Boya BYMM1 microphone into your laptop and set it up into your OBS so you can use this into your live streaming like Facebook Live or YouTube and we're also gonna do some optimization uh, of this microphone so it will sound more better into your streaming and we're also gonna try to remove some annoying background noise most of the users that are complaining with Okay, so let's get started. Alright guys, so there are two types of cables included into this microphone. So the first one is the TRS to TRS and the second one is the TRRS to TRS. So the TRS to TRS is the one that we will gonna be using to connect it into our laptop or desktop PC. And the TRRS to TRS is what we are gonna be using if we are gonna be connecting it into our smartphone. And if you have a combo jack input into your laptop like this one, you might consider to use an audio mic splitter so you can still monitor what is coming out from your laptop and also what is coming out from OBS. Okay, so once you plug in the audio mic splitter into your combo jack input of your laptop, a window will pop up and will ask you what device did you plug in and just select headset and click OK. And after that, we go into our recording devices configuration. Go into this, uh, into your sound properties by right clicking into this uh, speaker icon and go into your recording devices and try to look into your microphone here, the Realtek High Definition Audio Microphone and properties and levels and make sure the microphone boost is set into plus 10 dB and click apply and OK alright guys so before we jump into OBS so let's try to download first some of the plugins that we might uh, we might be using later so these are some free PST plugins and uh, so we can download the 64-bit installer plugins because I'm using the 64-bit uh, OBS and after downloading just click on the zip file and extract the DLL files into your uh, local drive C and go to your program files and look for a folder Steinberg and VST plugins and click OK and then exit the zip file and done and the next one we're gonna be downloading is the digiverb which is a free plugin reverb okay so if you want to put some effects like reverb so this is a free plugin you can download so get the 64 bit again and wait for this uh, for the download to, to be finished and click the installer so as you can see uh, the file here is not a DLL file so which means this is a installer uh, the extension name which is the .exe file so just double click it to install click OK OK next accept next 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 and then click finish then exit the zip file and the next one that we're going to be downloading is uh, this HY delay for free so don't worry guys because I'm going to be including the download link below into the description 
so you can just uh, click and download this free plugins okay so right here I'm gonna download the 64-bit installer or the 64-bit plugin file open it again and look for a DLL file then extract it into your local drive C program files Steinberg folder BSD plugins and click OK so now we are done downloading all the BSD files so now we can jump in into OBS okay so now we are here inside OBS and as you can see now my microphone is working so I'm using the Boya microphone the Boya BYMM1 but there's no filters yet into this microphone so as you can hear there is some background noise coming into the microphone some noises into this into my room okay so so how do I make it work how do I make the microphone work okay so first is let's go into your settings go into your audio tab and here into your devices go into your mic auxiliary audio and I selected my microphone Realtek high definition audio okay and here so if you want to hear into your headphone what is coming out from OBS and into your laptop so you can also uh, select here speakers Realtek high definition audio okay and just click apply and then OK and then once uh, that is set your microphone is uh, will automatically appear here and I just uh, renamed the microphone into Boya mic so you can just right click and rename it whatever you want it to be okay and for you to hear what is uh, going out into OBS you can uh, click here into the setting icon and go into your advanced uh, audio properties and as you can see I have uh, turned on this uh, audio monitoring I turn it on monitor and output and you can also make your microphone into mono if you want to okay and close it if you're done okay so now uh, we're gonna be putting some filters into our microphone so it will give us more uh, quality sound so that you can use into your live streaming so you can see all of your filters here okay and you can uh, click on the plus sign to add some filters as you can see there's some bunch of filters here and the first filter that we're gonna be needing is the noise suppression and click OK and as you can hear the background noise is already gone so uh, even just the noise suppression is uh, already giving us a clean uh, quality of the microphone okay and maybe we can just uh, leave the default value into negative 30 dB and the next one we're gonna put a noise gate and I'll just uh, adjust the noise gate value the close threshold into 40 negative 40 dB and the open threshold like around uh, negative 35 dB okay so what noise gate basically uh, basically do is uh, it closes the signal path when uh, the, the signal reaches the uh, closed threshold and it opens up when it detects the signal is uh, uh, already in the opening threshold okay and here in your attack time you can also change this if you want to make it like around 10 milliseconds and I want my hold time like around 100 into my release time 
uh, like around 100 also okay and the next one that I want to put is uh, an equalizer so remember that uh, we downloaded a BST plugin okay so as you can see by default uh, there is no equalizer here into OBS so we're gonna be using a BST plugin so OBS allows us to use third-party plugins and okay so just click OK if you also want to rename this I want to rename this EQ and then click OK there and next is you want to select the EQ that you, uh, uh, that you want to use so we downloaded the EQ uh, 560 this one and you can open up the interface now this is the plugin that we downloaded so as you can see um, we can turn down or attenuate the some of the lower frequencies so we can avoid some plosives like okay letter F and letter P we can also lower down around 63 if we want to and I just want to bump up some of the highs here hey it's test one two so I think this is more better bump up around 125 okay so so this is my settings and the next plugin that I want to use is uh, for this one is a compressor so there's a compressor here inside OBS just click OK and I want to set my ratio like around 5 is to 1 just type in number 5 okay and threshold uh, just leave it like around 18 uh, negative 18 db and uh, just leave the attack to ne uh, to 6 release time uh, just leave it uh, by default and you can also add some gain like around 2 db if you want to okay as you can hear our microphone is a bit more louder and more clear and the next uh, the next device that or the next filter that I want to put in is uh, well if you just want to put some effects like reverb or delays because if you want to use it for your live streaming performances like singing uh, you can use a plugin like uh, reverb so I'm gonna uh, type in here reverb click OK and I'm gonna select the plugin that we downloaded the digiverb here and then hey as you can hear we already have a reverb and you can also make some adjustments here open the plugin interface hey want to you can also lower down the wet signal hey want to so the dry and wet uh, is the percentage between the dry signal and the wet signal with effects hey hey want to and the room size also you can also adjust this based on your taste hello hello one oh that's a long one okay so it depends on your taste okay uh, you'll just set it into your uh, uh, taste depends on your taste okay one two okay so the next one if you want to put some delays so like combination of reverb and delay so you we can also add a delay okay add some BST and we can type delay so we're gonna be using our hy delay hello 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 
so I'm just lowered the, uh, I just lowered the mix so we can adjust uh, carefully hello and we can also adjust the time hello mic hello 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 hey hello hey hey one two test so i think this is more better so if you want to bypass the effects you can just click on the eye icon here so we are back in into our original uh, i mean the filtered uh, quality of the voice or in, in our microphone hello mic test okay so now let's compare it without this uh, filters so again this is the original hello mic test hey want to and with the noise suppression hey mic test with a noise gain hey want to with an EQ it's hey want to test mic compressor hello mic test hey want to and if you want to put your reverb hey want to test mic one two delay hey one two hello mic test one two so now you are ready for your next live streaming using the boya bymm1 microphone and there you go guys and i hope you have learned something today and also please leave your comment below and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be notified on my future videos. Thank you for watching.